Okay, where we left off last time was um, making, like getting it all set up, so the directory structure, um, all the files, and basically including everything. So, what we'll start off now is this, is getting the chat functions. So we've got get message and send message. So basically we need to set a database up first. So we know what we're interacting with. So it's a good idea to write it out first to find out what we're doing. So we're gonna our database is called chat. And we're gonna have a table called chat. Inside that table we're going to have three columns. We're going to have message ID, sender, and message. This is going to be a primary in order to increment. So, yeah. so now we can go to PHP my admin and see the database is created. So we're going to create a database called chat. I'm pretty sure capitals do, it is case sensitive, so it's up to you if you want to use capitals or not. Um, I just use cap. I use capitals for the columns. So we have three columns. You can see one, two, three. And we're going to have message ID sender message. Message is going to be a type of text. Bar child for a hundred and int. So next is if we can get this to scroll over. Just so this here, this thing to scroll over. Okay, can you see it? So you want the index to be the primary and it wants it to be auto increment like so. And now we can find save. Click save. The database has been created. There it is there. The structure will have message ID and whatnot. So remember these names, it's case sensitive. So we'll go back to Notepad now. We can get rid of this, we don't really want that in there. We'll probably include it. So, what we're going to do first is check if they then, so basically, if check if they contain data because we don't want sending blank null data to a database because it's just waste. So, basically, we're going to say if not empty sender and not empty message do this else return false So if that's happened, we need to sanitize our data. So we're going to create a new sender is equal to my SQL real escape string and just plop then that old that sender up up here into it. Same thing. It's just going to rewrite it basically. Overwrite it. So then we're going to replace the next one with message and just replace this message, control save you could use HTML entities inside that but I'll just leave that out for a minute um, come back to that later maybe so, so after we run that we can create a query to be run, run. so we're going to go we're going to insert into chat dot chat. So it's a table, the database database chat and the table chat. Uh, probably not the best way to explain it. You've got two chats. Yeah, I didn't think that one through too well, but it works. So we leave it as that. And we're going to insert null for the first one. The second one and third column. So basically, you put these in there and you put a variable. So, first column sender, 
and the second column is going to be message. Message. Control save. So that's basically that done. Now we can create an if statement to say create a query. So if run is equal to my SQL query. Not that and that. Query. So basically we're inserting that inside this. So if that returns a true value, we're going to do something. If it, do, it returns a false value, we're going to return false for the function. So it's basically saying it hasn't been sent. So and if it did return true, it means it's been sent, so return true. So that's basically that function set done, complete. Uh, the next function is get message. So what we're going to do is get it in an array, and um, then use a for each loop in index to print each message out. So what we're going to do to start it off is we're going to query the database. So we're going to query. We're going to select. Sender message from chat dot chat where if you know where we're just getting more you can do order by so and then we're just gonna go run is equal to my SQL query query oh goes in this bit here query so then we're going to create an if statement basically saying no it's a while statement so while Create a while statement, while loop. So while message is equal to my SQL fetch a sock. I'm going to put, put the variable running, which is related to this bit here. So we're using this result here. We're going to do this. Before the while loop, we're going to create an array with the name of messages. Going to be equal to an array like so. Inside here, we're going to open that messages array and so, so it's a multi dimensional array. So we're going to create another array here. So they're basically they're pretty simple. So we're going to have message. We actually probably we'll do send it first. Sender is equal to message. Now this is where the cat the lock caps lock comes in. So if your database was in capitals, this has to be in capitals. I'm pretty sure it has to anyway. So we're just gonna tap this. So then we're gonna make one called message. Message and message. So we don't need ID, we just need them to. And then after that, we're going to return messages. Like so. So the next part, we will be. We'll include the chat functions and start working on the index and the form and the like the chat interface so to learn watch this a couple times to make sure you haven't missed anything I don't think I've spelled anything correctly if I have I'll bring it up in the next tutorial but till then thanks for watching